Good morning. It's Wednesday. Nicole and I got up and have headed to breakfast at the quick service dining and we've come for our Mickey waffles. Can't come to Disney and not get Mickey waffles at least once. So we're taking it easy this morning. We're going to Epcot and Magic Kingdom today. So we might do like a whole day later and do both parks or do a break. We're not really sure. We're just taking it easy and enjoying our last full day of vacation. So it's up. I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys later. We got some sad mail on our door this morning before we went to breakfast, but we decided to not deal with it until now, like adults. <laughs> Um, we got our Magical Express transportation notice for our departure tomorrow. We took the Magical Express complimentary service to get from the airport here and we booked it back to the airport. Um, it is complimentary with any resort stay at Disney. So if you are doing an all-inclusive Disney vacation through a resort, this is a service that you will get. I do recommend it. I mean, it's complimentary and it's all the thinking is done for you it's it's great um so when we came here they gave us luggage tags and <clears throat> a little information and you went to the check-in desk and boarded the motor coach this time there are no luggage tags you're basically in charge of your own luggage um this time which is cool because we brought carry-on so that was fine for us um but the motor coach picks you up about three hours before your flight because it takes 30-ish minutes to get to the airport. Um, so yeah, we are sadly being forced to realize that our vacation is ending soon. However, we still have today. So um, but yeah, that's a little information about the Magical Express. We're out and about. Uh, we're, we've decided to do one pretty long day. Um, like we said yesterday, you are free to choose how you decide to split up your day. So we decided to sleep in, take a long morning, and now we're going to do two parks right after each other. We're headed to Epcot and we are using almost all of the transportation available at Disney because the bus to Epcot from our resort was just taking too long. So we decided to hop out of us Magic Kingdom and then take the monorail system over to Epcot. And it is going to get us there a little bit faster. So. You have options. There's also the minivan system, which is Disney's version of Uber and Lyft, um, which we will be using tomorrow. So, and our monorail is here. we get up to in this park before heading to Magic Kingdom. It is a sticky hot day today, let me tell you. Ugh. Can't wait to get back to fall in New Jersey. Oh yeah. Fun, 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 fun. Fun.
stopped in Canada to try the filet mignon with mushroom and truffle oil, truffle butter, truffle something, truffle something, and it looks delicious. I cannot wait. We did. We made our way around the entire world showcase, <laughs> heading to Magic Kingdom. for my tears I'm ready I'm so ready I love this park I've never been here when it's decorated for Halloween before this is amazing Ugh. I'm melting but my soul is happy so that's all that matters right I can't believe it Great moments in history, this one answers more! And here's what you will take away in all your mind and hearts. Great moments in history, but don't be the American Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. It was so good to see you. Love you guys. Um, and now we're into the fast pass part of our evening. We have three pass. Pa what? Why did you say that? Fast passes tonight for Mind Train, Peter Pan, and Space Mountain. Very, very exciting. And we've been whispering about where we want to do dinner tonight. Either Cosmic Grays or Pinocchio has been thrown around. So we're just going to have like a little quick service nibble. And we're going to try and enjoy these last two hours of daylight because then it's happily ever after. So we came to Cosmic Fairies for dinner um, before the rest of our night. It's like six o'clock now, so it seemed like a good time to eat rather than powering through until just before the fireworks. So we are splitting some chick nugs and french fries. And we each got a fountain drink for a little pick-me-up. This is definitely one of the more practical meals we've done together because we're splitting it. So it was 20, almost $20 for the two drinks and the nuggets so I definitely recommend if you're in a larger party sharing things and splitting them among yourselves rather than each person getting their own meal because that can get quite quite expensive it might be different if you're on the dining plan um, but if you're doing it yourself it is more worth it to split things so we have a nice little view of the castle that you can't see because of the sun <laughs> um, and we're just enjoying our evening did not anticipate it being this crowded the second week of September. I'm honestly shocked. Um, but here we are. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm very excited. I love this fireworks show. It makes me cry. And uh, I'm ready.
cried. I don't even know if you can hear me. Um, I really like the fireworks show. I think it's cute. I think the message is really amazing. The I think it's more of a projection show than a fireworks show, which is slightly annoying. I do wish there was more of fireworks effects. However, it is so beautiful and just like brings me to tears. Um, we have stopped at the ice cream parlor. Nicole's gotten to get us ice cream. I'm saving a table because it's extra magic hours to make sure that a lot of the crowd goes away and we aren't like struggling to get on a bus. Because there's extra magic hours, we're just using that to our advantage to kind of like stay in the parks for a little bit and do some shopping and um, sort of like beat the crowd and just kind of like hang out. So that's what we're doing. I'm just waiting, waiting on my ice cream.